Hey friends, it's me, the Ebony Otaku, the well-rounded nerd. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to forego cooking and ingredients and talk about some of the items I actually use to cook Asian food with. Now, I did have the intention with my last video uh, to showcase my hot pot skills. And, and trust me, the hot pot came out great. It was delicious. Uh, but the video was not as good as the hot pot. Uh, I've discovered that I need another camera and another tripod to get my cooking videos to look the way I want them to. So look for recipe stuff to start in a couple months or so. I'm going to save up, get a really good camera, get another tripod so I can get those good YouTube angles on food. Now, I have quite the assortment of cooking vessels, and they all have a purpose. You know, I don't buy things just for the sake of having them. Okay, that's a whole lie. Sometimes I do just buy stuff because I want, like this bottle right here. I did not want the wine in it, but I did want that bottle with pink flowers and a butterfly on it. To be fair, a lot of the items I'm about to show you can be accomplished with a, you know, standard stainless steel set of cookware. Uh, the reason I opted to go for the authentic dishes is one, that they cook really well. Uh, they, they're designed for certain types of dishes, and if you want to eat that food at home and get that right flavor, consistency, heat distribution, you need the right kind of pan or cooking tool to make that happen. It's like trying to make cornbread without a cast iron skillet. Who makes cornbread without a cast iron skillet? If you do, we're not friends. Joking, but not really. Uh, if you want to make perfect rice, can you do it in a pot? Yeah. Rice cooker does it better, <laughs> you know, if you want to steam uh, really well, you know, there's lots of ways that you can accomplish that. You can do like a ban marie, a double boiler, that type of thing, or you can use a bamboo steamer or a stainless steel steamer that was designed for that action. And a lot of rice cookers have steaming functions in them as well. So I have found over time that just using the right tool for the right job gives me a better result. Now, just like with the pantry videos, I'm not gonna do every cooking tool that I have at once because we'd be here all day. So we're gonna separate these out into sections. And this first one, I guess I'm just gonna call it cooking bowls. And here's what I mean by bowls. There's a lot of different vessels to accomplish different things. And depending on what you're wanting to cook, that's gonna change the vessel you used. Now, disclaimer, don't go out and buy all this at once. I didn't buy it all at once. This is a collection I've amassed over years and I love a tidy home. So I have very strict rules about bringing something into the house. If there's not legit space for it, where it can be displayed beautifully and cleanly, I don't bring it into the house. If I have that space, then it's coming in. So this first cooking vessel, this is a hot pot bowl. Now I'm gonna take the lid off and let you see the interior and my ring light. <laughs> so this one, as you can see, looks like a yin yang or um and yang, depending on what language you're saying it in. Uh, this bowl is designed to for people to share with, or you could have a spicy side and a mild side or two different flavored broths for your hot pot. It has a lot of uses. I mean, you can fondue in this thing. You could do a cheesy side and a chocolate side in it. Um, I've done two different types of curries in it at the same time. And what I love about it is the way that it's um, split this way. Uh, it, it heats evenly on both sides. So if you're wanting items to be ready at the same time, they will be. If I'm doing just standard hot pot, this will go on my portable hot plate and I will just have myself my best life ever. I have done by myself a spicy hot pot broth and a mild hot pot broth and just lived my best life <laughs> for that evening. Uh, this guy here, of course, I got him at the Asian market. He sent me back like $17 US, which isn't bad. But I also love is this giant lid it came with. It fits on top of my cast iron skillet as well. So I love items that I can use for more than one thing. When I discovered that this lid fit on my cast iron skillet, it changed my life. Now, what if you don't want a split bowl? Well, there's this one. See my ring light back there? <laughs> this is also a hot pot dish. Um, and of course I've used it for hot pot. This is 
Uh, I used this one the other day, actually. Um, but I've also made like fish curry in here. If there's any type of Korean stew that I'm making a serving for more than just me, this is the bowl that I will use. Um, like I've done bude chige in here. I've also even used this for some Western dishes. I have done braised chicken in here. This is, it's a really thick bottom steel pot, so it's real good for braising. It withstands a high temperature. Uh, because for hot pot, it's meant to be simmering for a very long time and your food have an even distribution of heat. And that's what I love about it. Um, I have done casseroles in here for people. And plus, I love that it's got these really great handles on it. Uh, so I've got those kinds of bags where you can carry a pot in them. So if I'm doing a dish for like church or something, it's a nice little display dish as well. Um, so I can do the cooking in here, transport it, and it's all ready to go. So I absolutely love this and I get a lot of mileage out of it. This one, and I don't know why, I think because it's a bit sturdier and a better brand. I don't know what brand it is, but it, w it was higher. This one set me back about $25, but I absolutely love it and I get a lot of use out of it. Now, this one I did not need. <laughs> this is also, uh, can be used for hot pot, but I also use it for like a big pot of ramen, a big pot of stew. I have sauteed fish in here, all kinds of things. But this one, this is clay over stone. Uh, these are wonderful and they retain heat is why they're great. So when you take it off, the heat source and you go to eat with it and people are, you know, hot potting with it or, you know, everyone's pulling out their little bit, it stays hot. That's what's so great about these. Uh, the thing to remember about a pot like this, though, is these stone pots and clay pots, they are not meant to be heated with nothing in them. So you at least need to have water, oil, something in the bottom. Don't just heat it up on its own. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, but I'll be honest, the reason I really bought it, <laughs> look at it is pink with flowers on it. That is literally the only reason I bought it. I'm ashamed to admit it out loud. But now that I have it, um, I love it. Uh, probably about, I bought, I bought this one about two months ago, I think. Manchi did a video where she did this really awesome fish cake and noodle soup, and it was in a bowl like this. So, you know, the way my cooking brain thinks, well, if I'm going to make something manchi make, I need the same type of bowl. <laughs> and so I went out and bought the bowl. Uh, but I don't regret it because I've actually used it several times since purchasing it. And that's the key to these types of buys. If you're going to use it, worth it. If you're not going to get your mileage out of it, you, you know, if it's a sometime thing, skip it. And then there's these guys, and they're heavy, so I'm going to put one down. We will talk about the little one. The big one is really heavy. But this is a Korean stone bowl, and you can get these at most Asian markets. Of course, you can get them on the Amazon, uh, and there's a lot of Korean markets in town. I actually bought both of mine at a local Korean market that I just go in for those specialty items you got to go to the Korean market for. But these are great. Um, of course, soups and stews in them. But I've done like an individual bulgogi bowl in them. You know, I've, you cook your rice in here and then you put your meat on top, whether it's bulgogi, dueji bulgogi, chicken, whatever it is that you want to put on top, your vegetables. You can do a small bibimbap in these. Uh, you can, um, I've done egg drop soup for a single portion in here. I've done a single portion of miso in here. I put things in here that you wouldn't traditionally use a stone bowl for because this little bowl is an individual portion. So if I make my own little portion, I'm not wasting food. I mean, I could use one of those giant pots I showed you earlier to make the same dishes, but then it would be slightly wasteful if I'm doing it just for me. So I can measure out the perfect amount of rice. Uh, dice up the perfect amount of beef, you know, add my kimchi, my bean sprouts, whatever other vegetables I want. And I have a whole meal in one pot and that's only one dish that I have to clean up as well. Uh, just like the last one, 
these are not meant to be heated without something in them. Now that something can be a little bit of water. I have now I'm, I have sauteed in here before, uh, but I've put a little oil in before putting in my garlics and onions and that kind of thing for my soup base. And these also get very, very hot. Like you can't just pick them up off the stove once you've heated them. That's why they come with these. You'll grab them with your oven mitts and set it on top of its little tray. And now look, you have your own little serving set uh, for eating. These are absolutely invaluable <laughs> in my kitchen. I use these constantly especially during these winter months where you just want a hot soup or a hot stew for dinner. They're really great. <laughs> and they're not expensive. Uh, this guy here, he was $9.98. And his double-sized big brother, I think, he wasn't much more. He was like $15. I would have thought it'd be double, but no, it was like $15 or $16. So very affordable. Now, if I was Korean, I might have 20 of these. Uh, you know, for other people coming over. But so far, I haven't had guests in my house who want this food as much as I do. But that's why I also have the larger cooking vessels. Whatever I can make an individual portion in here, I can do a large portion, say, in that bigger uh, hot pot bowl or something like that. So I've had these for... Oh goodness, I've had these bowls for probably five or six years now. And that's another thing I like about these stone and clay pots. They last. As long as you don't drop them, <laughs> they last. And actually, I've dropped this one. He didn't break. So I think he's lucky. Now, friends, that is just the beginning, the, just scratching the surface of the items I have to prepare uh, Asian delicacies with. And not just Asian food. I use these things for, you know, stuff I love as well. I've made a small chicken pot pie in that little stone bowl before, just for me. <laughs> and it was great. You know, I've done uh, a small portion of like red beans and rice in that bowl, just a little bit, just for me. Uh, because it retains heat so well, you can kind of pressure cook the beans and the rice in there so you can get really creative with these tools so don't think that if I buy uh, something out of the Asian grocery store I can only use it for Asian food not so not even close to so because who uses their cast iron skillet as often as they get a chance regardless of the cuisine is me let me tell you if you do your bulgogi in a cast iron skillet because it's too cold to go outside and use the grill it still comes out delicious so have fun with your cooking gadgets. You know, just, you know, don't, don't go hoardery about it. <laughs> uh, we all have things that we love and collecting things to cook with is something that I love. There's so many and I just want to give you an idea of what you might want to incorporate into your own kitchen. Now, I'm new at this, so I don't have a real outro yet. However, I do hope that you like, comment, and subscribe, and we can have a chit chat about your favorite tools to cook with down in the comments.